Hello, 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 and welcome back to episode number 24 of my FSX FS Economy Career Mode. I'm following on from episode 23 where we landed in Wangarai. We're going to be continuing our journey north, and we're going to be buying one student pilot to Perikeri. Bay of Island Airport. I've not assigned the job yet, so I'm gonna just click the tick box, add the assignment to my flight. I'm gonna rent my aircraft, which is parked up on stand five. I'll rent my aircraft, plenty of fuel, but just case. So, just rented the aircraft. Just got to my flight. I've got 20 gallons of fuel, which is just over a third of a tank. This journey's only 38 nautical miles. It all, use eight, it all uses eight gallons an hour, so I've got plenty of I'm not getting much for this trip, only $457 because there's only one passenger. Uh, our status is departing, the aircraft is already at the airport. There's no point in having a look at the weather conditions because it's currently Thursday afternoon in the UK and New Zealand are I think they're 11 hours in front of us, so it's going to be something like um, 2 in the morning, but I know that on the historical weather at this moment in time it's actually raining but what i'll do is i'll go into a little nav map um we'll go and have a look at the routes there's only one waypoint which is up here as it's only a short journey and i'll just show you the direction that will be flying from uh, we're currently on stand five um what we'll be doing is we'll be departing on runway six from there we're gonna be flying over the marina turning in a north westerly direction come back we're going over the the port over the city of Wangarai up to our first waypoint which is 28 nautical miles away to Oper. From Oper we'll go past Lake Oharati. Oharati. Something like Oher Oheriti. Oh well, that's how you pronounce it. Over the Waitangi River and landing on runway 33 at Kerry Kerry Airport. All oh, all my checks have been done on the aircraft. Passengers loaded. We'll get on our way and get this student pilot to his next lesson. I'll join you in the cockpit in one moment's time. I'll come into the cockpit of my Cessna. Um, passengers loaded, not started the engine up yet. Just set the altitude, which is at 4,000 feet. Nine, 4,000, set the altimeter to our climb, which is 700 feet a minute. Put the fuel pump on, better have the handbrakes on as well. Start the engines. Fuel pump off, got our beacon lights on, our taxi lights, nav lights, strobe lights. What we'll do is we'll request clearance from ATC and we'll get on our way. Well, there we go, we've just got our clearance. Um, we'll climb to 4,000 feet. Just in the frequency, departure frequency 119.2. Right, runway 6, we're taking off. There's our taxi. And then we'll get set off and get on our way. November to Whiskey Romeo traffic. Two one nine or is six miles west inbound visual runway six.
push back enough. Put a little bit of juice. Perhaps. What we're going to be doing is we're going to be taxiing up the runway. Turning around at the top, way six. And then we'll get on our way. Ahead of us is each craft coming into Romeo traffic. Two one nine or four is two miles west inbound visual runway six. November two one whiskey Romeo traffic. Two one nine or four flying a missed approach. That was lucky for us because he declared miss. It cleared us for taxi. Didn't know that there was uh was a a Bombardier Dash eight that was coming into land. Center of the runway. That's our heading to two degrees. Is the runway heading? It's our takeoff. Tower power, full power, on our way. Forty knots, fifty knots, sixty knots. Good to go. So it's uh, north.
we're currently flying over the city of Wangarai and we'll travel 28 nautical miles to our first waypoint and then it's always something like 7 miles to Kerry Kerry Airport so just before I forget um, if you like what you see hit that subscribe button uh, hit the bell notification and give me a big thumbs up really helps this channel out now after this after this trip which is on the northern part of the North Island of New Zealand um, we won't get any passengers because we're going to be island dopping as we're going heading back towards Manchester I'm going to try and get this plane back home so I'm not going to continue from this one until we do get passengers because a lot of the flights are going to be just empty empty flights empty plane just myself flying I have some routes that I wish to take and I'll probably fly those offline the next one I'll probably fly is when I do, de I do get passengers that need to go to an airport that I am going to go to but because time is of an essence for me um, I still work still got a job I'll just do this when I've got some free time and now with the weather coming nice the uh, better half the trouble and strife is going to want me to get out into the garden and be paint all the fence panels which is something that I'm not looking for but it's got to be done to keep her indoors happy but I do have another series running and if you're into trucking then I've got an American truck simulator series going I'm currently on job number nine I'm trying to build my company up that so that's your cup of tea uh, give that a look Just looking at this, it looks a nice clear day. Just you look a few clouds about, scattered clouds about. But I think it's all raining. Still a few droplets of rain knocking about. 12 miles to get to our waypoint, which is 8 minutes away. If you look just to the right hand side of the screen, that there's a slight light blue. That's the lake that would be flying past. And from there, we're only about 6 miles away from the. Uh, Airport being bumped about a little bit. There's a, not a strong wind, uh, only 17 knot wind, not really a strong wind, but in this little Cessna it's just pushing us around. Going in a southwesterly direction, like right, we're coming into a bit of all cloud just before we do our turn. Still raining, we're still being pushed around. You can see, right ahead of us is the lake we're flying past.
Uh, making our turn now to three two seven. Well, this airport is at an elevation of 492 feet. Um, I'm only about a minute away from starting my descent if I land it at 500 feet per minute. Or in a moment's time, I'll take the autopilot out and I will have control of the aircraft. Currently seven miles away. Aircraft is under my control. Right, bumpy. Full cloud being knocked about left, right, and centre. Oh. Struggle keeping it. That's the correct. I've come through that pocket now. But very shit that. Three minutes away. Six miles away. Expect visual runway six. Approach two eight three zero. Don't leave below the glide slope. Oh, seventy nine, seventy feet. What?
making our turn towards the runway and the two uh, three two six we're back on the glide slot now Things have calmed down a hell of a lot. Speed right down. Heading up with the runway. That's right landing. <laughs> the nose was right up. This is not a true reflection of this airport because we know um, I've read on Wikipedia that this airport is a lot bigger than what it is on FSX because FSX not doing updates and this was the airport was made bigger 2015 Was more parking spaces put in and terminal was made bigger. Now a student pilot's got their safe. Up here. Oh, I know it's clear of the runway. One park up in the other parking space was available here. Yeah? Then we'll do our breakdown on FS Economy.
pull to a halt there. And break on. And the lights off. And off. 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 Drop off. The engine down. We'll let him out. And we'll go and have a look at. We'll go and have a look at FS economy, our breakdown, what we've been paid. Alright, let's just go into our breakdown of what we've been paid. Uh, income was $457. Drone crew fee is 10% of that, which is $45.70. Earnings this flight, $411.30. Not much, but every penny counts. But what I'll do is I'll call it a day there. Um, just a quick reminder that if you've not already done so, if you made it to the end of this video, please hit that subscribe button, hit the bell notification and give me a big fat thumbs up. It really helps this channel out. And with that, I'll bid you good afternoon, good evening, good morning, wherever you are. And until next time, thanks for watching and bye bye.